Hey there, welcome back to XYZ 3D Printing Tutorials. Today we're going to discuss cutting an STL file that's too large to print on your printer. We're going to do this by using a program called Mesh Mixer. So go into your favorite browser, just type in Mesh Mixer, go to download, select your operating system and install the program. Right, here's the Mesh Mixer interface. We'll import the model that we're going to cut. As you can see, I have a 400mm Groot. Let's wait for it to generate a mesh of the STL. As you can see, it's quite a large Groot. Let me just first tell you how am I turning this, this image around. I'm clicking and holding the right mouse button that will give you the panning movement of your camera to zoom in I just use the wheel mouse in and out simple right so now we're going to cut this it's 400 millimeters and most printers can do a 200 millimeter tall cut so how are we going to do this we'll go to this little block of edit go to plain cut as you can see, it's automatically selected the center of the STL file to cut. Uh, that's fine. Normally here you could just carry on and, and cut it. But what if you wanted to change the cut? I'll just show you a few steps of how you can change your cutting angles. So let's say if we click the green, we can move the mesh that way. Or just by playing on the arrows, we can say, oh, I want to cut it that way. Um, and as you can see, it moves in one, three, four, seven. The degrees move in, in small increments. But if you just move it out a little bit, you can see it'll move in five. So you can then get an exact angle. So you can change that angle like that, right? And back to zero. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? We can move it up. So if you had a taller printer, or if you just wanted to cut the body. So... This is something that you guys can play with. Um, this is up to you entirely where you want to cut cut the the object. Um, let's go back. I'm just going to back with Control Z. So we right. Let's go back to plain cut. So now that I have it cut perfectly in the center, we're going to go to this little panel over here in the top left. Now, obviously, we don't want to cut and discard half. So, what are slice and keep both? That sounds like a plan. Let's keep the top half and the bottom half. And we want to select this remeshed fill. So it will it'll make it so you could glue it together and that kind of thing. So let's click accept. You still can't see anything. So what we have to do now is we have to go to separate shells. And let's cut this into four pieces. That's because it's selected the center. So So now we can select the parts that we want to cut. Right, so you've seen what we've done there. Now we'll just go to File and we'll click Export and um, let's say Groot 1 Cut and I'll save it as STL Axi Format. Save. Oh. 
things. Click on this leg. So I'll just click File, Export. There are other options that you can do, but generally you want to do this one here, not a binary format. So I'll just say Groot to cut. That's good enough for me. And this will be my group three cut. So export. Group three cut and save. And as simple as that. All right, let's close this program. Save. Let's say group file. Group file cut. So, okay. So here are our three files. Now let's go to your XYZware or just for this case I'll use Simplify 3D. You may not have this, but by now you already know how to use your XYZware. If not, you can drop us a, a line if there's something you want to know, and I'll be happy to make a video and show you. But let's have a look at what happened to the leg. Dragging the leg in. Okay, it's not the leg, it's the body. And there we go. Perfectly cut. It's a hollow unit. And now I can just slice it and print as normal. Let's remove that. Let's have a look at how the legs cut. There we go. And cut three. Let's add them all together. And he'll just click center and arrange. So here I can actually print the whole group. One shot. No support needed, if you know. And that's it. Simple as that. That's how to cut a large object for printing. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe.